Hey, welcome to EPN. My name is Victor Lucas, and we bring you the latest in everything cool every single day. This rundown is going out to Adrian Loera, who says, who the heck, and I'm paraphrasing, would thumb down this classic episode? And that is a pretty big question, but uh, haters got to hate, I guess. This rundown is all yours. DC is really starting to drain the swamp to find characters for new TV shows. A live action series based on the anti-hero Swamp Thing is in the works. The character was first created by Len Wein, rest in peace, and Bernie Wrightson in 1971, and there have been several different incarnations over the years, with the best known version probably being the one from the mid-1980s comic series written by Watchmen's Alan Moore. In most of the comics, Swamp Thing is basically a human scientist who transforms into a monster after a terrible lab accident, giving him superhuman strength and other powers. As for the new TV series, it's in the early stages of development at DC and Warner Brothers Television, and it sounds like they're going for more of a horror-centric approach to the material. The show is being produced by Insidious and the Conjuring director, James Wan, who's currently working on the big screen adaptation of another DC character, Aquaman. The show is also being produced by Mark Verhaden and Gary Dauberman, who have a history of working on horror-related projects like the recent It movie and the hellish DC series Constantine. It's unclear if the new Swamp Thing will take place in the same universe as Constantine and other DC shows like Arrow, The Flash, and Supergirl, but unlike those shows, we do know that it is not being made for conventional television. Swamp Thing is instead an exclusive series for the new DC subscription streaming service called DC Universe, which will also have other original shows like a new live-action Teen Titans. The streaming service goes online later this year, and the new Swamp Thing arrives next year. Over in the Marvel Universe, the hunt is on for the right filmmaker to take on Black Widow. Variety reports that Marvel Studios has met with no less than 65 potential directors to helm their long-in-development Black Widow solo movie. The site claims that Marvel is doing this because they want to be extremely thorough on the film and find the right director for the job. No word yet on who specifically they've met with, but whoever they end up hiring is going to have their work cut out for them. Expectations are very high given the popularity that star Scarlett Johansson has had as a supporting character in other Marvel films, and fans have wanted her to get her own movie for years. Until recently, female-driven superhero movies were considered a risky bet, but thanks to the success of other films like DC's Wonder Woman, that attitude is starting to change. Marvel also had great success with Black Panther, which was considered a risky bet as well, so the studio might see the benefit in trying new things with new types of characters. They're already working on their first female-driven superhero movie, Captain Marvel, which is due out next year. Expect Black Widow to follow sometime after that. Thank you for your cooperation. Another heroic female character has been found for her first big screen movie. The upcoming live action Dora the Explorer movie has found its new version of Dora. The iconic animated character will be played by 16 year old Isabella Monair, best known for her supporting role in last year's Transformers The Last Night. In a statement, Monair says that she grew up watching Dora and has always seen her as a role model, so she's honored to bring her to life in the new film. The studio didn't have to do too much exploring to find her because the new movie is being produced by Transformers director Michael Bay, who obviously enjoyed working with her on the last night. Unlike the original Dora animated series, which focuses on a seven-year-old version of Dora, the new movie will instead focus on a teenage Dora who will go on a new and more young adult-oriented adventure. It's slated to hit theaters next year, which means they'll need to start filming soon. Vamos! Disney has developed a funny new way to promote their latest Star Wars adventure. With Solo, a Star Wars story hitting theaters in just a few weeks, the film's director, Ron Howard, has recorded a funny video chronicling the events of the first Star Wars movie, but done in the style of the comedy TV series Arrested Development. Now the story of a family that wants to rule the galaxy, and the one son who had no choice but to save it. Ron Howard produces that show and also provides the narration, so the new Star Wars video will feel very familiar to fans. Meet Darth Vader. He's upset because his daughter, Princess Leia, stole his secret plans. I want to know what happened to the plans. I don't know what you're talking about. She actually did. Solo, a Star Wars story, lands in theaters on May 25th, and despite some highly publicized behind-the-scenes drama, it's tracking to have a record-breaking $170 million Memorial Day opening. You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's a ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey, that would make an interesting movie. Go see Solo, a Star Wars story, only in theaters May 25th. As for Arrested Development, a fifth season of the show is currently in the works at Netflix, although a premiere date has yet to be announced. Well, that's not a great sign. It turns out that gamers really like being able to play their old games. Go figure. 
Microsoft has announced that nearly 1 billion hours have been played through their backwards compatibility program on the Xbox One. They haven't provided more specific numbers, so it's unclear what the breakdown is between games from the 360 or original Xbox, or what specific titles are the most popular, but this is a clear indication that the program has been a success. Users are able to pop in the original game discs from compatible titles and play them on the new console, or for those who don't own the original games, they can be bought for the first time digitally. Best of all, many of the backwards compatible games include new enhanced like HDR support and faster loading times. Backwards compatibility is very important for preserving old games, so it's frankly a little disappointing that more game makers and other consoles don't do it. We believe that games like books, movies, and music should be celebrated and enjoyed by countless generations. We're passionate about preserving and celebrating the games you own, the classics of the past, and the genres you love to play. Hopefully these new numbers from Microsoft will help other game makers take notice. And when it comes to new games, Kratos is slaying the competition. Coochie coochie coo. Sony has announced that the new God of War sold 3.1 million copies in its first three days, making it the fastest selling PS4 exclusive ever. Sony hasn't provided more up-to-date figures, but given that the game has now been out for two weeks, the current number is probably much higher. This is a big win for Sony and developer Sony Santa Monica. God of War was a risky move, doing away with the more action-centric hack-and-slash mentality of the previous games to instead deliver a more mature, narrative-driven experience, so it's paid off. This means that you can expect Sony Sony and other game makers to be more willing to take similar risks in the future. It also pretty much guarantees that we'll be seeing more God of War games with a similar tone in the coming years. Beat us. God of War director Cory Barlog himself has said that he has ideas for five more Kratos adventures. First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? And that wraps us up for the rundown today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back again tomorrow with a brand new EP Live for you, so make sure you come back for that. And in the meantime, we've got lots of other content for you to check out, so please do. And if you dig it, hit subscribe, that little bell, and if you're so inclined, that sponsorship button too.